Hi and welcome to the part 3 of video on C++ interview questions and answers from careerlight.com. Describe new operator and delete operator. New and delete operators are provided by C++ for runtime memory management. They are used for dynamic memory allocation and to free up the memory while a program is running. The new operator allocates memory and returns a pointer to the start of it. The delete operator frees memory previously allocated using new. New allocates memory on the heap. If there is insufficient memory, then new will fail and a bad alloc exception will be generated. Explain days class. Inheritance is one of the important features of OOP, which allows us to make hierarchical classifications of classes. In this, we can create a general class which defines the most common features. Other more specific classes can inherit this class to define those features that are unique to them. The class from which other classes are inherited is referred to as base class. What happens in case of private inheritance? When the inheritance is private, private members of base class are not accessible to derived class. The protected members of base class become private members of derived class. Public members of base class become private members of derived class. What is pure virtual function? A pure virtual function is a function which has no definition in the base class. Its definition lies only in the derived class. Since there is no definition of these functions in the base class, they can be equated to zero. Tell us something about overriding functions. Overriding of functions occurs in inheritance. A derived class may override a base class member function. In overriding, the function names and parameter lists are same in both the functions. Depending upon the caller object, proper function is invoked. Describe static and dynamic binding of functions. Static binding. By default, Matching of function call with the correct function definition happens at compile time. This is called static binding or early binding or compile time binding. Static binding is achieved using function overloading and operator overloading. Dynamic binding. C++ provides facility to specify that the compiler should match function calls with the correct definition at the runtime. This is called dynamic binding or late binding or runtime binding. Dynamic binding is achieved using virtual functions. Base class pointer points to derived class object and a function is declared virtual in base class. The matching function is identified at runtime using virtual table entry. Overloading versus overriding. Overriding of functions occurs when one class is inherited from another class. Overloading can occur without inheritance. Overloaded functions must differ in function signature. That is, either number of parameters or types of parameters should differ. While in overriding, function signatures must be same. Overridden functions are in different scopes, whereas overloaded functions are in same scope. Overriding is needed when derived class function has to do some added or different job than the base class function while overloading is used to have same name functions which behave differently depending upon parameters passed to them. Define classes and structure. Classes. User defined data type which contains data and methods to manipulate that data is known as class. It is a fundamental packaging unit of object oriented technology. An object is a variable of a class. Each object is associated with the data type of class with which it is created. Thus, we can also say that class is a collection of objects of similar types. Since class has data and methods to manipulate that data, it supports one of the most important features of object orientation, that is data encapsulation. Structure. A structure is a collection of variables referenced under one name, providing a convenient means of keeping related information together. 
structure declaration forms a template which can be used to create structure objects the variables inside the structure are called members generally all members of a structure are logically related structure declaration precedes the keyword struct explain the use of constructors constructors allow initialization of objects at the time of their creation constructor function is a special function that is a member of the class and has same name as that of the class an object's constructor is automatically called when the object is created explain the use of destructors destructors are complements of constructors when an object is destroyed its destructor is automatically called destructors are mainly useful in performing the cleanup job example an object may have allocated some memory during its lifetime destructors are the place where this memory is deallocated or an object may need to close some files by releasing its handles which it had previously obtained destructure function has same name as that of a constructor but the name is preceded by a tilde sign explain the use of this pointer when a member function is called it is automatically passed an implicit argument that is a pointer to the invoking object this pointer is known as this pointer it is internally created at the time of function call this pointer plays a very important role when operators are overloaded what is overloading unary operator unary operators are those which operate on a single variable overloading unary operator means extending the operator's original functionality to operate upon object of the class the declaration of a overloaded unary operator function precedes the word operator what is matrix class a matrix is simply a 2d array which is widely used in scientific programming to perform calculations there are various ways to implement matrix class like using arrays using pointers and using vectors what is virtual base class explain its uses when two or more objects are derived from a common base class we can prevent multiple copies of the base class being present in an object derived from those objects by declaring the base class as virtual when it is being inherited such a base class is known as virtual base class This can be achieved by preceding the base class name with the word virtual. What are the important uses of static class data? The important uses of static class data are one to provide access control mechanism to some shared resource used by all the objects of a class. Two to keep track of number of objects in existence of a particular class. Tell us something about friend function. to allow a non member function the access to private members of a class it needs to be friend of that class friend functions can access private and protected data of the class to make a non member function friend of a class its declaration needs to be made inside the class and it has to be preceded by the keyword friend we can also have a member function of a class to be friend of certain other class even if a function is not a member of any class it can still be a friend of multiple classes friend functions are very useful for overloading certain types of operators they also make creation of some type of input output functions easier what is virtual destructor what is its use destructor is a special function of class which is called when object of a class is getting destroyed a virtual function is something which helps a derived class in overriding the implementation of a functionality of a base class the order of execution of destructor in an inherited class during a cleanup is like this one derived class destructor two base class destructor but when a base class pointer points to derived class object and the derived class object gets destroyed only base class destructor is called the derived class constructor is not called 
to make sure that derived class destructor is also invoked in such case we need to make the base class destructor virtual what is object slicing when a derived class object is assigned to base class the base class contents in the derived object are copied to the base class leaving behind the derived class specific contents this is referred to as object slicing this means the base class object can access only the base class members this also implies the separation of base class members from derived class members has happened what is polymorphism polymorphism consists of two words poly that is multiple and morph that is form polymorphism means the ability to take more than one form an operation may exhibit different behavior in different instances depending upon the type of data used in the operation for example consider addition operation for two numbers the operation will generate the sum in case of two strings it will generate a third string with concatenation there are two types of polymorphism one compile time polymorphism it is achieved using operator overloading and function overloading two run time polymorphism it is achieved using virtual functions describe abstract base class a pure virtual function is a function which does not have definition of its own the classes which derive from this class need to provide definition for such function a class containing at least one such pure virtual function is called as abstract base class we cannot create objects of abstract class because it contains functions which have no definition we can create pointers and references to an abstract class explain multiple inheritance when a class is derived from another class that is it inherits functionalities of another class this phenomena is known as inheritance in some cases a class can inherit from multiple classes that is a derived class can have multiple base classes it is known as multiple inheritance what is overloading template a template function overloads itself as needed but we can explicitly overload it too overloading a function template means having different sets of function templates which differ in their parameter list what is stream class and stream object the c++ input output system supplies an interface to the programmer that is independent of the actual device being accessed this interface is known as stream the input output system contains a hierarchy of the stream classes used to define various streams to deal with the console and disk files these classes are known as stream classes the base stream class for handling input and output operations with the console and disk is ios and there are various classes derived from it such as i stream o stream stream buff etc the header file io stream declares the stream classes as part of the library the io stream declares certain objects that are used to perform input and output operations these are known as stream objects they are c in c out c l c log etc